This is the Peugeot Expert and it's the first van from Peugeot in Australia in a few years. It's part of the renewed focus on the Australian market from the company and will be joined by a smaller partner and a larger boxer van in the coming years. The Expert competes with cars like the Toyota Hiace, the Volkswagen Transporter and the Ford Transit. The commercial side of the business for Peugeot Australia has changed from Citroen to Peugeot. This used to be a Citroen in its former generation. My question is though, does the expert make you an expert in your field? Well, let's find out, but first, head to carsguide.com.au for the full review, and if you're watching from our YouTube channel, make sure you hit subscribe so you never miss a video. Priced from $36,490 plus on-road costs, the expert competes with other vans such as the Hyundai iLoad, the Renault Traffic, the Volkswagen Transporter and the Ford Transit Custom. Standard equipment on all local experts is excellent with AEB, blind spot monitoring, lane departure warning, auto high beam, a reversing camera, driver attention alert and a 7 inch media system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto coming as standard. The interior of the Expert is actually a really nice place to spend time. It's well insulated from the road noise, it's pretty functional and it's good looking as well, though material quality is not brilliant. In terms of practicality, you get storage spots pretty much everywhere. The USB connection for the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto lies here, so you can put your phone in that little slot there. There's a pretty big glove box in a dual kind of setup. There's a big storage slot up here. There's a cup holder on each side of the dashboard and there's even a little well insulated slot down here where you can store drinks and stuff like that. So overall, it's a pretty well thought out place. The driving position is pretty good as well. The mirrors are large as are the windows and there's good reach and rake adjustment in the steering wheel. And generally, it's a really modern quality place to spend time. It's a lot better than something like a Toyota Hiace, for example. You get a seven inch touchscreen infotainment system standard across the expert range. As I said, you get Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You don't get inbuilt satellite navigation in Australia, which is really no loss. Overall, I really like the cabin of the Expert. It's not quite as modern as what you get in something like a 3008, but it's a van. It doesn't have to be. The Expert is offered in two different lengths to appeal best to customers, and at its longest, it offers a pretty long load bay. In all, up to 6.6 .6 cubic metres of space is on offer, as well as a maximum payload of 1,499 kilograms. Peugeot offers the Expert with dual sliding doors and a barn rear door, though more options may be available in the future. Unlike a lot of vans, the Expert is based on a car platform, the Peugeot Citroen EMP2 platform, which also underpins the Peugeot 308 and 3008, which means that it drives quite like a car, both laden and unladen. Under the bonnet is a grunty 2 litre diesel engine in 3 power formats, which is matched to either a 6 speed manual or a 6 speed automatic transmission, which unlike a lot of vans is a proper torque converter unit. You can only get the Expert with a full barrier between the seats and the load area, which helps its refinement further, and the ride quality is also quite good for a van too. All up, you'll definitely be comfortable jumping around town in the Expert. Peugeot are onto a really good thing with the Expert in Australia. In a segment full of unrefined and dated offerings, the Expert surprises with its quality, safety equipment and modernity. In addition to that, it's got good credentials as a van and it really should be on your test drive list. But what do you think? Be sure to head to carsguide.com.au for the full review and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay on top of all of our latest videos.